New at 10, maybe you've noticed some unusual sights in and around Phoenix. Giant saguaro cacti, and they're not real. They're used to conceal wireless towers, and the company behind this high-tech game of hide-and-seek is right here in Arizona. 12 News journalist Kyle Simchuk shows us the great lengths that cities and cell companies go to keep this technology out of sight. There are two types of saguaro cacti, those that can poke you and those that can help you send a text message. The Phoenix metro area is home to nearly 200 of these saguaro cell towers, which are made at this factory in Tucson. We're the largest company you've never heard of. Mark Schmidt is the director of concealment at Belmont Telecommunications, the parent company of Larson Camouflage. Larson made a name for itself decades ago, designing themed environments for zoos, aquariums, and theme parks. And other projects that might be familiar are the Tree of Life at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom in Orlando. Larson created the very first cell tower tree in 1992, and their idea caught on. Soon after, some cities and towns started requiring this type of concealment. We produce pine trees, palm trees, eucalyptus trees. Also, water towers, clock towers. Larson designs and builds these to disguise cell towers, too. Really anything that you can think of, we can reproduce and turn into a concealed wireless structure. You can even see Larson's work here in the heart of Old Town Scottsdale, but you'll have to look closely. Larson was tasked with remaking the iconic metal sign with a more radio frequency friendly material. It's held up by a pole, which is actually a small cell tower. It's um, really a fascinating business and a fascinating company. Larson's most unique camouflage has to be the saguaro cacti they came up with decades ago. We got an up close view at this cluster of them on Dove Mountain in Marana. It's really difficult to imagine when you're just looking at photos of these. I mean, it's. you know, nearly 30 feet tall. From a distance, they can pass for the real thing. Every needle cluster that you want, that you see on one of these things has to be painted on by hand, and it can take many weeks to just produce one of these structures. A saguaro cactus has a lot of ribs in it. It has a lot of needles, and so all of this has to be carved. The Sonoran Desert can be a harsh, hostile place, but in the age of connectivity, even the most stoic saguaro might have a few megabits to share. You can see our products everywhere you look, but you really don't think about them being there. You just rely on them. Kyle Simchuk, 12 News.